all the, you know, quote-unquote professionals and uh, statistics and whatever, whatever keeps baffling, you know, the professionals, <laughs> again, big giant quotes, about how come they're supporting him, how come they're supporting him, so clearly he's not on their team. One of the main reasons is <clears throat> because they both come from the same basic uh, root of elitism, even though it branches off. But uh, aside from that, they both come from a position of, uh, of a lie. Another thing I wanted to talk about is um, this Trump uh, nonsense, uh, racism nonsense, where um, for some reason no one can figure out exactly what's going on with Trump except for he's racist and his uh, followers are racist and blah blah blah. And I'm thinking it seems pretty obvious what's happening. The, the, the thing about they're racist and, you know, we don't like it, you know, whoever you know, doesn't like it is uh, fine. You know, that's perfectly reasonable. Who would want to hang out with a fucking asshole? You know, bigoted asshole. That's not, no, that's not fun. But um, the, the fundamental thing to me is, is my understanding, how I've thought about it, of, of racism and bigotry and xenophobia and all this kind of stuff is, um, you know, white nationalism, all that kind of nonsense and KKK, blah, blah, blah. The, the bottom line is, is the xenophobia, homophobia, you know, all these deals, they're all phobias, which means they're all fear-based. And the bottom line is everything about being a bigot and a racist and a white nationalist and, uh, no uh, immigrationist and blah 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 that's all about fear you're afraid and someone on TV I think it was on The View but I don't remember said something about um, one, one of them said something like the reason that uh, Trump and his supporters are so you know tight is not because they think he's necessarily so great but it's because they, they he he's a, he's afraid of the same things they're afraid of, uh, or fears the same things they fear. There was something like that, as I recall. That might not be right, but that's what I remember. Um, I forgot who said what exactly, but uh, there's something like that. And the other girl says, "Well, what's that? What is, what is uh, what's the same thing they're fearing?" And I never got the straight answer. I never heard what they were talking, that what was the end result of that. But I thought to myself, that's true. They do like him. I mean, partly at least, for sure it's true, in the fact that they like him because he fears the same things they fear. And in answer to, well, what is it that they both share that they're fearing? And the answer is the truth. They're afraid of, they're both afraid of the truth. They're both afraid of the truth because fundamentally both of their position are based on lies. Uh, lies that are revolving around a similar theme of elitism. That is, you know, he, his lie is he deserves more because he's born in a special family, in a special country, uh, maybe a special race he's white, whatever, and uh, racist is the same idea, you know, they deserve more they're because they're born white, they're born maybe in the United States, whatever, whatever, and the whole thing is all about propping yourself up higher than the person below.
middle America and poor people and whatever, I don't know what their hang-up is or whatever is going on with their lives. Uh, probably they are, are very intelligent and accomplish a lot of things, but they don't give themselves credit. And they still think, I'm a loser because they're not rich or they're not whatever their fantasy is. And uh, so that's just a you know poor self-esteem that's desperate for... And then they end up being racist because they think, well, at least I'm white, you know, that kind of thing. One of the main problems with this whole thing is, is that you put yourself in the position of your value comes from the relative position of you versus somebody else instead of your, your relative value and your, your own sense of uh, security and confidence comes from what you do, what, what the individual is doing. Anything where the people think that they're better than the other person or where they can feel boosted up, people like that, you know, and, and hopefully it's true if you did actually accomplish something and uh, earned it, then yeah, you know, you've been working a job for 20, 30 years, you should be better at that job than the person who just showed up last week. That's how it's supposed to work, you know, more experience, more wisdom, yeah. So you're not, a, you're not quote unquote, a better person but you have more skills and more experience. So hopefully you can apply that in a positive way. That's normal. That's, that's okay. But when it's just like, because I'm born, <laughs> you know, that's why they like this royalty and dictatorships and all that other bullshit. It's all about entitlement. It's all about elitism and privilege. Um, but without earning anything, you know, you're just being born, big deal. Everyone's born. You know, insects are born. <laughs> so what? They already know it's right. They already know the truth. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. What matters is what you accomplish. Or whatever race, you know, and whatever their hang-up is, gay or not, or gay or I mean, immigration. But that doesn't matter. What matters is your accomplishments, and they know it. This is one reason I think Trump uh, is always so kind of hyper-aggressive. He always, to me, he always looks like he has sort of a guilty face uh he always looks like he's you know looking around to make sure no one's going to catch his lie but you know he's got this hyper aggressive defense mechanism because if someone is living a lie the last thing they want is the people poking around and you know threatening to blow over their house of cards and that's what he lives he lives in a house of cards he says he lives at the top of a tower and he's right it is a tower. It's a very, 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 very tall tower, but it's made out of cards. So he's obviously, you know, has good reason to worry about that thing collapsing. The truth of the matter is he's actually the king of the hill, but it's just a big mountain of bullshit. That's what he's really achieved. And he just, just keeps telling people, you know, this is prime real estate <laughs> I'm standing on. <laughs> this pile of bullshit, this is actually prime real estate in his mind, you know, and that's what he wants you to believe, and the, the fools who buy into it are the same fools who are also buy into the same type of elitism. And I think a lot of these politicians who collapse under Trump's influence uh, are kind of along the same lines. They basically, to me, a anybody who's supporting Trump is essentially, in some way, one way or another, may not, might not even be racist or whatever, but there's some way where they're super insecure and feel threatened so when people are feeling threatened and in a panic you know they uh, do and stupid things and make dumb choices and he's out there saying I, I can save you you know your maybe I can help you with your lie if you help me with my lie is kind of how he's doing it and uh, for the politicians that follow him are obviously desperate for some kind of validation. So when he offers it, they accept it. And they actually don't even want change. The security blanket of that is, if you already are uh, white or in a you know, more wealthy family or whatever the thing is that supposedly is working, um, it means you can't go down either. You, you can't improve really, but you can't, you won't, you, your position won't retreat. That's just the way it is. No matter what happens in life, <laughs> you were still born there, you know. That's not going to change no matter what. You're still that race. That's not going to change no matter what.
the, the alternative idea that you can improve yourself if you put in hard work, which is how I think actually the United States is supposed to function. And one of the things that makes America uh, the strong country it has been, has been that the individuals have been able to rise up through work, through education, and those are the ones that rise to the top. It doesn't matter if they came from a, a wealthy family, a poor family, whatever, it doesn't, they still were free to do that. It wasn't already a structured class society where even if you're a genius, if you were unlucky to be born into a poor family or a lower class, and you can't, now you can't move. That's basically stupid. <laughs> if the person is able to uh, do better than somebody else, put them in charge, you know, or give them the job. That's how America is supposed to work. And the idea that working people can actually move up in their, you know, society, uh, in uh, economically or however, that's a threat to the elite class because it means that anybody could be able to move up and it means that you actually have to work to stay where you're at or, or work will achieve the same thing that they were just lucky to be born with for example money or some kind of privilege um, if, the, if the, someone else works hard enough they can achieve the same thing and the elite class doesn't like that because it's a threat to their um, it's contrary, basically, to their fundamental lie of, I got this because I was born this way, and that's all there is to it. Someone who earns a higher position threatens that because they're saying, no, that's not all there is to it. You can act, Anybody can work and, and earn the same thing. Anybody can achieve that with effort and knowledge and education. So, that's my short version of that, take on that. We'll see if this becomes a video. If you like that story, <laughs> or my opinion, I guess I should say, or uh, maybe want to discuss, you know, how I'm interpreting this uh, racism, current racism in our country, my country, you, you know, leave a comment. That's fine. You hate it. Thumbs down. You're definitely sure it's not insecurity. <laughs> Don't like. Unlike. Other than that, you know, if you if you agree or, or think it's an interesting point of view, give me a thumbs up, comment, whatever. If you like it, if you love it, subscribe. I might make some more of these. <laughs> I saw my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident with myself. <laughs>